it is day nine and today is the final day of the cleanse. It is the day that is filled with lots of nutritional juices and blended fruit and it's really our favorite day of the cleanse. Um, and it's raining outside so that just makes it the perfect day to just stay inside, relax, take it easy when this is like the biggest detox day of the cleanse, when you're supposed to take it easy and not do a lot of work or manual labor, things like that. So when you're starting the cleanse, you wanna make sure day nine ends up on a day that you can really just take it easy. Um, so I'll, I'll show you guys what is on the entire menu. Okay, so this is what day nine looks like. So over the course of the day, well, first you're gonna start off with your 32 ounces of lemon or lime water. And then over the course of the day, you're gonna consume two 32 ounces of celery juice, one in the morning and one in the evening. Um, so after our lemon water, we'll do our first 32 ounce and then we'll do the second one probably around four or five o'clock. Then, uh, and you wanna make sure you enjoy them 15 to 30 minutes apart from any other uh, item you're drinking. Then you also consume two 16 to 20 ounce cucumber apple juices. So you'll do 50% cucumber, 50% uh, apple. You can have those at any point. And then you can have your choice of blended melon. You could do fresh watermelon juice. You could do blended papaya, blended uh, ripe pear, or fr fresh squeezed OJ in as many servings and as often as you'd like. Um, and you wanna make sure you consume those separately. And then you'll drink water as desired. Um, and then our evening will end with, uh, you will not, this, you won't have any solid foods. It's either juices or blended melon, or sorry, or blended fruit because it needs to be super digestible. Um, so you would do, the evening would be 16 ounces lemon lime water, and then you get to choose your tea as well. If at any point you're still hungry, then you, you go to here and you choose something from the blended melon list here, blended watermelon, papaya, ripe pear, OJ. And you have as much as that as you need to stay satisfied. All right, here's your first thing of the day. Is your oh, 32 ounces you. of lemon water. Mm. Favorite day of the cleanse, right? Yep. You're not going to change your mind later when you want some cooked food? That's tomorrow. I know. How? So I can wait a day. Yeah. Okay, so I have our first 32 ounces of celery juice complete. I think I'm just going to make the other, our second 32 ounces of celery juice right now. And it'll be ready. You know, we'll have that in like maybe seven hours from now. It'll still be good, I'll put it in the fridge. Um, celery juice is good for up to about 24 hours after you make it and if you keep it sealed and in the fridge, um, it does start to lose its potency like hour by hour. But this is a good thing to know in case you need to make yours the night before, you know, and then have it in the morning. Um, so since the celery, or sorry, the juicer, since it's already dirty, with celery. I'm just gonna keep going, make our second set of 32 ounce, keep in the fridge. That way it's prepped and ready to go for later. Okay, we've got four 32 ounce jars of plain celery juice. So we'll have two in the morning, two in the evening. Um, now I'm gonna make us our cucumber apple juices. Okay, so I'm gonna now blend up some melon. Yesterday I did a little bit of prep and I chopped up um, two melons um, and then I'm going to also blend a papaya. Also 
gonna blend up some pears. Blend and pear time. Cheers. All right, so here's the lineup for one of our sets of juices. We've got our uh, celery juice, blended melon, cucumber apple, juice, blended pear, blended papaya, another cucumber apple juice, another celery juice, another blended melon, another blended papaya. And then there will also be lots of orange juice in there um, that we'll make fresh as we'd like. And then lemon uh, water as well mixed in and we already had that 32 ounce of lemon water at the beginning of the day and then i also i have more melon if we still get hungry and want more melon all righty so we now are making fresh oj to drink on we have so far had 32 ounce of lemon water 32 ounce of celery juice uh 20 ounces of cucumber apple juice, about 32 ounces of blended melon, and now some OJ. And then we'll start to rotate in some more of those juices and blended fruit that I made earlier. We've been staying cozy on this rainy day, it's getting some down. work done. Yeah. OJ time. You love All your right. OJ. We love the OJ part, right? Oh yeah. And the fact that you get to drink it all day long is like a plus just getting to this day. What's your favorite juice or blended fruit of the day? Um, I'd have to say the apple cucumber. cucumber juice was pretty good. We also have blended papaya and blended pear coming up too that we haven't had yet. But I noticed when I do the apple cucumber, I get this pain right here on my shoulder. Mm. I don't know, does anybody else out there deal with that where you have maybe like your celery juice or watermelon or apples and all of a sudden you get like this shoulder pain in your right shoulder. I'm trying to figure out what it's caused by, but I know it's cleansing that's probably causing yeah. it, right? Callie's over here saying cozy, cozy, huh? It is now time for our second 32 ounces of celery juice. Last day of the cleanse. And our second celery juice of the day. Cheers. fun nine days we, it went by pretty quick right yeah oh totally it always goes by pretty quick and that you know you really get into eating this way when you've been doing it for so long especially since you get such variety with the dinner options yeah you know so it gives you even more options after you've tried every single thing and you know we liked the cauliflower one the best and we continue to even have the cauliflower one. Two, we had that three nights out of the nine day cleanse, right? We did. Yeah, but I can't wait to have some like steamed potatoes tomorrow night. Is that what we're doing? Well, so tomorrow we, you know, day 10, you're technically done with the cleanse, but you um, don't wanna have, still don't wanna incorporate any radical fats so you still want to keep it fat free um, and then you want to ease into the cooked foods because your body's just been so used to you know raw foods so we'll keep breakfast and lunch raw and then we'll do some cooked dinner but we'll do steamed um steamed food so like steamed potatoes just because that's a little bit easier on the mm -hmm. system than like baking because it's more hydrating than like baked potatoes um and then the next day, so day like 11 technically, you can start to ease in fats. 
So then we'll probably just have like a little bit of fat with dinner and then, you know, each new day you can incorporate a little bit more fats if you want and, and different cooked foods and things like that. So that's that's what it'll look like for us, but. Yeah, so we'll ease back into it and Tuesday I'll be able to maybe make a little dessert for us and get that back in <laughs> I don't know, life. maybe Wednesday because Tuesday we we can only have a little bit of fats. So you think you gotta still pump the brakes on the dessert. Well, we could have some banana ice cream. Yeah, we could have like fat free dessert, totally, yeah. Um, but I think overall this cleanse has been like a really good experience for us. And once right? you do, yeah, I mean, we've done the, the standard liver cleanse enough times now. It wasn't as hard as I it looked on the paper. You know, you think of like, oh, no fats. We can't have any fats. Oh, my gosh. You know, this yeah. is so horrible. But really, it wasn't it wasn't bad at all. I found it to be kind of easier than the just standard liver you cleanse. Yeah. yeah, my arm hurts. Today was <laughs> was a good day. We got lots of juices in us. And surprisingly, all right, so pears, you know, like Ashley and me had these pear smoothies. It was and just blended pear. Blended pear, but it didn't <laughs> taste like, it tasted like. He thought other things were in there. Totally. And it was really good. And, you know, I like pear, so... That was, I think, the tastiest one that I had. The papaya one is always good, too. I really like the blended papaya better than, like, the blended melon. So th that's it. You know, we um, figured it'd be a good opportunity to encourage everybody to try this advanced liver cleanse because it's easy and simple, and it's only nine days. I mean, anybody and everybody can do it so. and you don't have to do the advanced you could always do one of the other versions totally. too so one, do you know do whatever you feel that your body is telling you to do don't overdo it all right you guys we'll see all you right. on the next vlog let us know if you have any questions about this cleanse and if you liked us vlogging tell us let us know because <laughs> Maybe we'll do We're more new vlog. At this. We'll we'll do more vlog videos if you guys enjoyed it. We'll, you know, pop maybe one every two weeks on on the YouTube or something like that. We'll we'll figure out how to get it into the rotation. But let us know if you liked it. All right, we'll see you guys later. See ya.